moment stretched within seconds into an entire eternity. March 16, 2016, at 7.06 p.m., like a broken clock glitching between frequencies and fluctuating from now into forever and back into now again. I'm not, I'm not entirely, entirely sure. sure. Are, Are we, we still here? here? Or have, have we, we left, left into, into the stillness? stillness? I'm not entirely sure. I held open a fracture within the armature of time and space, pouring every ounce of my being into the rift. Because I could hear his voice. I could sense him ruffling through the forest. through tunnels of televisions that played my distorted memories. Through the caves that exist in the shared imagination of he and his sister. The moment is still feeding back on itself. Like the reflections of an infinity of mirrors, an eternity the returning within the echoes of his voice. Lex, Lex. I can hear you still. still. Lex. Lex. Where are you, Lex? I have ascended beyond the lifted veil and can now easily recognize how minuscule our existence in Mendocino really was. We were a contained little box of earthly ignorances, dreaming up superficial storylines of portals and positive mechanics, selling transformation like it was a product on an infomercial. And yet simultaneously, what happened on that day, in that dining room, inside our family's home, has caused ripples to converge like tidal waves throughout a rapidly destabilizing multiverse. It is crystal clear to me now. In this eternal moment, the, the story, story has, has only begun, begun and, and we were merely the prelude. prelude.